generating instant two cents traffic with a reach campaign on Facebook. Hey there everyone! Facebook is, as of now, the most popular and cost-effective advertising platform on the internet. With millions of active users and hyper-targeting features, it lets you generate tons of instant traffic at a very, very low cost. In this lesson, we're going to show you how to set up an ad campaign that reaches thousands of people and that will help you send lots of instant traffic to all your sites and pages at the lowest cost possible, step by step. Creating a Reach Campaign You can create Facebook ad campaigns through the Ads Manager. To access the Ads Manager, go to the https colon forward slash forward slash www.facebook.com forward slash ads manager forward slash creation URL in your browser while logged in to your Facebook account. That URL will take you directly to the campaign creation page. Once there, Click on Reach under the Marketing Objective column. This objective will allow you to show your ad to as many users as possible for a low cost. Select this objective and then enter the name of your new ad campaign into the Campaign Name field. Next, click on the Setup Ad Account button. On the following page, enter your account country, your currency, and your time zone. Then click on Continue to move to the next step. Setting up the campaign's ad set. Next up, you have to set up your ad set for this campaign. Start by entering the name of your new ad set into the ad set name field. Now click on the Facebook page menu to select the page you want to promote in your ad. Let's now go to the audience section. Here you will have to set up the audience that you are going to target. It is key that you target the correct audience to get the most traffic out of your total ad spend. First, Click on the Edit button in Locations to select your target locations. Here you can type the name of your target location in the text field above the map and click on it to select it. You can select more than one target location. You can select to target everyone in this location, people who live in this location, people recently in this location, or people traveling to this location. Now click on the Edit button in the Age section to select the base and top age of your target audience. Now go to the Gender section to select the gender of your audience. Now click on the Edit button in the Detailed Targeting section. Here you can select to include or to exclude people based on demographics, interests, and behaviors. You can do this by typing a keyword or an interest into the Add Demographics, Interests, or Behaviors field, and then selecting the item that best matches or describes your audience. This will help you lower the cost of your traffic by only showing your ad to people that match that attribute in their profiles. You can also find attributes by clicking on Browse to find attributes in the Demographics, Interests, and Behaviors menus. Now click on Show More to further define your audience. First, click on the Edit button on Languages to select the language or languages that your audience speaks. This way, You'll avoid showing your ad to people that speak a different language, which would be a waste of money. Now click on the Edit button in the Connection section. Here you can select users according to the type of connection that they have with your page, such as people who like your page or friends of people who like your page. Now move to the Placement section. Here you can select between Automatic Placements or Edit Placements. If you select Automatic Placements, you will show your ads to all users on all devices across multiple placements, including Instagram and the Audience Network. If you select Edit Placements, you can select where you want to show your ads and on what devices. Now move to the Budget and Schedule section. Here you have to select a budget and a schedule for your campaign. First, click on the Budget menu button to select a budget strategy. We recommend you to select Daily Budget to have more control over your ad spend. Next, enter your maximum bid into the bid control box. Here we recommend you to enter the top of the page bid amount you got according to the keywords that you'll target as interests. In general, you'll pay much less in your maximum bid because bids on Facebook are cheaper than on the Google network. Now on Schedule, you can select to run my ad set continuously starting today to run your ads until you stop them manually. Or you can select to set a start date and an end date to schedule when your ads start running. For this example, we'll select Run My Ad Set Continuously starting today. You can click on Continue when you are done 
to move to the next step. Creating the ad. Now it is time to create the ad for this campaign. First, enter the name of your new ad into the ad name field. In the identity section, you can change the page that you selected to promote when you set up the ad set. Now select your ad format. This type of campaign allows you to select carousel or single image or video. For this example, let's select single image or video. Next, you have to upload or select media for your ad. Click on the Add Media menu button to add an image or video to your ad, or click on Create Slideshow if you want to create a slideshow ad. Alternatively, you can click on Use a Video Template to create a video ad from a template. Now move to the text section. Here you have to add your ad copy and your URLs. Start on the text field. Type your ad copy in there. Now check the Add a Website URL option and enter your site's URL or landing page URL into the Website URL field. You can also add a headline and description to your ad, but these are optional. Click on the Call to Action menu if you want to add a Call to Action button to your ad. You can select No button if you want to use a specific CTA button on your ad. Lastly, check out your ad in the Ad Preview window. Review your ad settings and click on Confirm to submit your ad for approval. It normally takes less than 15 minutes to start running your ad after this. And that's it! Next up, we'll be showing you how to set up a reach campaign on the Google Network. See you in the next lesson!